Hi, my name is Mike Tice. I teach my face-to-face -face classes at the University of Wisconsin Marathon Campus, and I also teach for the University of Wisconsin Online Campus. I'm going to be working with you in an application called Microsoft Word. This morning we're going to be working with headers and footers. Not a too, too difficult of an assignment, but there are tons of different formatting options that uh, Microsoft has created for you to use. The key is just to know where the basic headers and footer information is and how to put them into your document. The headers will be in the white top margin area. If you don't have a top margin, you won't have a place to put a header. And that same thought goes with uh, footers. Okay, footers will be in the bottom of the page and the bottom margin, there has to be a bottom margin for the footer to go into. So that being said, let's take a look at my little sample document here and I'm going to insert. Headers are items that you insert. I'm going to insert and I have some options I'm moving over here to the group box for headers and footers, and I'm going to put in a header. Now, Microsoft, like I said, is just great at having galleries of different formatting options for you. You can use your scroll bar or your roll bar and your mouse to find the different options. I'm just going to arbitrarily pick a header uh, down here called the alphabet. Okay. It took and it looked at my text and it took the first words, okay, uh, got a noun here and it, it seems to clue in on those and it put a title in there for me, which I can accept. If I wanted to, I could take that text box and edit it, but I'm going to accept it, okay, and I'm going to take... Oh, before I move and close, I want to show you over here, it created a header and footer tools tab. And there are options in here, especially these options in the design area, different first page header, different, even an odd page header, okay? Just, just things like this that you might uh, find useful. I'm going to close the header and footer. Okay, I have a header on my document now. I'm going to take advantage of the fact that I've got this document open and I'm going to insert a footer. Obviously, I go back to the insert and in my way of doing it, I go over here to footer. And again, I've got all kinds of options for my footers. And I'm arbitrarily going to pick the blank three column footer. Okay, and it takes and it places my cursor in the footer, gives me the ability to take and to uh, put in three pieces of text if I need it. I'm going to take advantage of where we are and I'm going to go over to the page number. Okay, insert page number and it gives me some options here too that I want you to be aware of top of page, bottom of page. I'm going to go and I'm going to say I'm going to go at the bottom of the page. Okay. Please notice you can format page numbers or remove page numbers in the same area. And I'm going down to the plain number two. I click here and it took, it removed that other text that I wasn't going to be using, put in the page number, and I'm going to add the word page and a space and now I have updated my footer. I'm going to close the headers and footers and I'm going to take a look at file, print, okay, and I'm over here in the print preview part and I'm saying hey you know that looks pretty decent. I like the way that looks. I'm over here in my next page area and I click, that, that doesn't look too bad at all. 
some very quick, some very basic navigational tools that you can use for your headers and footers. Thank you.